Hi everyone, welcome back. So, uh, let's have a look. Notice anything? This Sontes isn't mine. This is the one I worked on for the young lady last week. It's, um, it's not running well, or at all at the moment. Uh, I said last time that the fact that it had 50% less oil in it than it should have, and that's from the minimum, it may not ever run that well. It may be that the pistons and the rings got too hot and that they've changed. There might be less compression. Um, they could have snapped. Anything could have happened. So at the moment, it's not starting. I am hoping, though, that it's actually more about the routing of the the fuel. Because, I mean, I'll show you later because we're going to do that properly later. But it the, the fuel line that I put on with a fuel filter, I left the fin line on the second end. So I think we just might be restricting the fuel too much. Oh, I was meant to change that second piece of line and I did say that in my video. Um, so now I'm gonna do a more direct route from the tank to the carb. And I'm gonna check the fuel to see if there's still any rust or crap in it. If there's not, I might run one line straight down and get rid of the filter. If it's still got crap in it, I'm gonna run one straight down with a filter in the middle. So we'll look at that later, but at the moment it will start and tick over briefly, it will not run. Here it is. Not my Sontes, my Sontes is over there. The young lady Sontes. Now, the bike did start yesterday in idle. But it didn't run at all, any throttle, and it was all gone. Now I can see there's fuel in here, in the filter, so that's fine. But I can also see, look at this kink here. And then it has to run up there to the carb. And that's that's not ideal by any means. Now I was meant to change this pipe last time, I completely forgot. So I think that's going to have to be the kind of fix. But I'm wondering if I lose the filter now. You see, it doesn't look like there's crap in there. And just run a pipe from here, across to there, onto the, where it should be, the nipple. Um, so I'm gonna try that first. And then we'll just see if this bike runs and rides back to normal. Um, uh, as I said before, the bike was running with no oil, so it could it could have fried its piston rings. But you know, we wanna keep it alive as long as possible. So all I'm gonna do is replace this pipe and go straight to the carb now and see if that resolves the issue. So, not long ago, someone said to me on my channel, they said, uh, please stop cutting and showing us that the work's been done because we want to see the work get done. And that, that was absolutely a fair point. And I said, okay, I'll try a bit harder to film things. So here is the new pipe. The diameter is much thicker on the inside. Now I'm still contemplating having the filter in, but I think I'm going to remove it for a, yeah, in case it's restricting the flow. I've got another thinner pipe that was left here last time. This is probably too thick. This is if I'm keeping the filter let me check the other pipe. Now the other pipe might be too thin, actually. I think I'm best to stick to my pipe for now. So let's, uh, let's get this out and ready. It's quite hard to get into the car from here. Great, what's that compared to the, yeah, the new pipes, much thicker on the outside, but really thin on the inside so that goes over easily however it will probably leak it's quite big for there as well 
the new pipe is too. The new pipe might be alright if we, if I'm not using the filter, which I'm not. Should I do that? Let's see if I can get it on. I'm sorry, I know I'm blocking most of the footage, but okay, there you go, that's on. Alright, that makes life easy, and then we come up here, we put a nice bend in somewhere the problem with this filter with this at this stage I'll show you from this side is no matter what you're using you have to then put some sort of bend like that and I mean that's fine because that's flowing down it just becomes a bit awkward to work out how to do it so I'll cut it where am I? I need to cut it. I might need to cut it here and then push that on and then we've got no we've got a bit of a lip actually. It needs to come back this way. It needs to be more here to cut it around there. Push that on. I wish this was more malleable actually. This pipe is smaller, I've just noticed. I wonder where the rest of this pipe is. That would be perfect. Okay. In fact, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna go and have a look. So like magic, there you go. I found a, a medium kind of pipe. Let me see if I can get that on. It's just a bit more flexible. I will be securing the other end. Probably, um, probably using a cable tie or a or a clip if I have one, I should have a clip. Let me get something that will chop that. I want the flow to be fairly straight, so I pushed it on there, here. Knowing my luck, this won't have been the issue to start with. Alright, let's pop that on there. There you go, we have a straight flowing pipe now. There should not be any flow issues at all. Um, I'll put a cable tie on there. I'm going to try and get one on the other side. The, um, the pipe itself is so tight that the use of the cable tie is just helping it. Um, you can buy the proper clips, of course. There's no issues there. It's just tight and awkward to get into here. So I will use the proper clips if I end up having to go back into the carb. Otherwise, this cable tie is going to do. So get it in. Get it into its kind of position. Which is quite, it's quite tight actually down here. Get that right down to the bottom. There you go. Cable ties come in cheap and expensive forms. If you buy cheap cable ties, they break. You can't pull on them properly and they break. Uh, if you buy decent cable ties like these are, then you get, you know, you get what you paid for, you get decent cable ties, and they don't break when you pull them. I'm going to trim that down. So it's hard to cut. Right, next cable tie up here. 
I'm really hoping this is the problem. It could actually be that the carb is gunked up again. I mean, that's practically impossible because it had a filter on. I would be really surprised if that's what happened, but you never know. So that, I believe, is my quick and final fix for the non-running problem of this Sontes. It did start and it did idle yesterday, but it did not drive me home. Um, oh God, I forgot again. What is down? It's down off or on? It's up on. I'm going to have to watch my own video to remember. Uh, first thing we need to do is put the flow on and see if we're leaking. You'd know straight away if you were. But what should be happening now is flow down there, down into the carb. When there's too much fuel in the carb, the actual flow itself will stop it. So you don't need to worry too much about this part. All right, I need to go and watch my own video to see what the uh, choke settings are. So, so I just watched my own video. So up is on, down is off. So let's see if the bike even starts and warms up now. So I really do need to give it a minute to warm up because it kind of did do this yesterday. It kind of did get to this stage, but it was not running and riding. Anytime you touch the throttle, it cut out, even on idle. So I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to properly warm up. That is exactly what was happening yesterday. You touch the bottle, cuts out. But, it, yeah, but it was working with, let me up the idle a bit. It was working um, just a minute ago with full choke. That leads me to believe that the carb is blocked somehow again, which shouldn't. I mean, it's practically impossible. It had a filter on it. So I'll try and get it up to temperature. I mean, it's it's been sitting at least overnight, so it is cold. Um, I'm not sure what else it could be. Maybe the uh, spark plug is caked somehow. I 
I mean, I can't really properly tell until it's up to temperature. All right, let me go back to half choke. Half choke. to full choke I'm going to pull the plunger out a bit let's go back to full choke I'm just lowering the revs while it's warming up if I literally leave it two or three minutes it should start cutting out it should then be running too rich For now it just needs to run and idle for a couple of minutes to get up to temperature, which it's obviously not going to do. The really annoying thing is the throttle response feels normal. And the choke is up, so the choke is on, so it's restricting air. I could check the air filter in case that splits or anything, but it shouldn't have. I'm going to let it warm up a couple of minutes off camera. Uh, I won't do any work off camera, but I might pop that panel off, just have a quick look at the air filter. Not that that should make that much difference. This bike should run without an air filter. Um, but I definitely want to get it up to temperature and see what's going on. So I've been waiting a couple of minutes. It just cut out on full choke. It cut itself out. That means it's warm enough not to have full choke. It's now on half choke. So I'm going to leave it here for a minute or two and then see if we get any revs under normal conditions with no choke. If we don't, then somehow the carb is blocked again even though it had a filter on it. Let's see if it revs. It didn't rev on half choke last time. Okay, so that sounds and feels quite normal on half choke there. So we try with choke off. So that should be warm enough now. Let's try choke off. So the choke is off now, and it's still a bit stuttery, but we'll have to see what's going on. I'm just trying to get the idle right, because I messed with it last night. Remember, this bike ran well for most of the week, and spluttered one night, so what's changed? The, the, I definitely think the pipe was kinked, and the fuel flow was starved. I, I'm, you know, pretty certain on that. See, it's still got that bit of stall, you see? It wants to cut out unless you're gentle. Which 
leads me to believe that the carb is blocked. Hi right, Jim. Yeah, all right, you? I'm gonna take you for a spin. Let's see how it feels on the road. still feels like it's starving fuel and it's not there's no way it's very frustrating it's very frustrating not sure what's going on here i believe the tanks full let me try going on to the Reserve tank setting. See that? All right, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to check the spark plug. I'll check the spark plug. It's if it's super black, then it just won't be sparking enough to, you know, to ignite the fuel properly. So that's that's the next step. If it is super black, we have to wonder what's going on. It'll be running super rich, and would need down jetting or or the split in the air filter would um would be an, an issue again. Although that would run it too lean, wouldn't it? All right, I'm gonna pop this out and we'll have a look. I don't know which one of the million span as it could be. Here we go, I believe that's the right one. Yeah. Let's see if it's caked. Actually, it's uh, it's okay. That's kind of like optimal. That's good. So I'll give it a quick clean anyway. 
I hung left to remove this bloody carb again, aren't I? I don't get it. It had a fuel filter on it. There's no way anything came from the tank. Unless the flow is struggling from the tank. That's the next step. And the next step is pop this off, put it on to stop, see what the flow's like from there. It could be that this needs cleaning so let's see I'm gonna pop this off it's gonna spill petrol but that's fine let me break the clip at the moment it's switched off anyway I'm glad like I said I used the uh, best cable ties with some clear pipe see that fuel was very clean there right let me see if I've got any clear pipe Right, I'm going to run it. And we're going to see the flow. Can you see this? Let's see what the flow is like. So, um, full tank. Flow's okay. There was quite a bit of red in there, if you saw that. Um, that flow seems okay. Let's try the other side. So we go off again. Let's try the reserve tank. Again, a bit of red came out of there, and that flows not. I mean, it's, that is enough. So there is enough flow into the carb. We really need to think now what's going on. Um, there was definitely some dirt out of there. Let me run a bit into the bottle. Let's see if we can capture some of the dirt. Actually, that wasn't clever. There was already a uh, Fanta in there. Let me give that a clean using the fuel. Now we're Fanta free, let's try it again. Yeah. The tank. That's crazy. Let's try the other side. Alright, let's see, look at the bottom, you see all that crap? Look at that. In fact, look, there's a chunk of something in there. Oh my God, there's like a stick in there or something. Ah. This is a full tank of fuel. That's ridiculous. How about... How about if I use my... The system I'm using with a filter back in, so if I chop this here, put a filter back in, and we only get, because we've got the thicker diameter flow there, and the filter. It's got water in it as well. Watch it separate. See? Dirt, water, it's got everything. It needs a fuel tank flush and clean. Yeah, it's an absolute full tank. Oh, that's frustrating. I wonder if this is a filter here. I don't 
I'll know if that's a filter. Let me get something on it. Oh, yeah, I've got pliers. Knowing my luck, I'll break it. Nah, it's rock solid. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, where do we go from here? I'm gonna flush this this one more time. I'm gonna clean it using this old fuel again. So shake it about. Make sure there's no fancy in there at all. Fuel is a cleaner. I mean, there's lumps in there. Let's clean the bowl. I'll show you it's fully clean. Completely clean bottle. Look, no remnants, no nothing. See that? Let's close some more fuel. All right. All right. See you in a bit. Right. Hang on. Let me uh, move you back a bit. Let's see more flow. It's terrible. The worst part is having to dump what's what's already in the tank. I mean that tank's obviously seriously rusty. Let's get the crap to this side. Let's have a look. See it? Separates its water. I'm gonna have to flush the whole tank. I've got no choice. It's gonna take for bloody ever as well. All right. Or do I go fuel filter on that line? Uh, the fuel filter should take all of that crap out. but slows the flow down. I'm gonna try throwing a filter on there. Bear with me, guys. All right, guys, so in respect of filming everything, I'm gonna put this filter, I'm gonna put a brand new filter on, actually. Um, these filters are courtesy of Jake Corb from eBay. It's an old friend of mine. He sells parts for all bikes, Chinese, British, any bike. Um, and he's great, he's great with electrics, he's great with um, everything he sells and he offers advice. His main thing is jetting and tuning and stuff like that But he sells everything alarms spark plugs uh, Filters and so on. So I'm gonna chuck on a new filter with the slightly wider diameter pipe that I put on Because the last one had a kink in it and was thin Let's see that could solve all of our issues Always check what way the flow is. The arrow's that way, the flow's that way. Let me get my trusty cable ties out. that enough to do this actually do I need more might need to go closer down here I don't know if I can get 
in there. Let's see. Let's try that. following the same rule that we want to flow and slightly slightly longer end here let me grab some spare Still feel like we'll be restricting flow. Got no choice. Rubbish. That must have been a pound land one. I think the pipe came off the other side. Let me try and push that back on. Okay, so if you look deeply in there, you can see that I had to use a clip, which is fine. I say had to as if it was hard work. Um, just there's a lot of pressure on the system at the moment. So I've used a clip to secure it on the other side. I'm gonna use a clip to secure this side because it's, it's a bit tight. It's very tempting to use the larger diameter hose here for more flow.
and stay in place. So we've got a clip on that one as well now. Right, now let's see if I can get you into the filter. It's hard to see. Let's see if we can we'll switch on some fuel flow. I'm just going to nip this up a tiny bit more. There you go. Let's get some flow on. Is it flowing? I can't tell. Oh yeah, it is. This is kind of potluck now, if I'm being honest, guys. It doesn't look good. This one's kinked a fair amount. Um, what, I, what I really should do or need to do is move this wiring loom higher. Give me some more space. But let's try. Let's fire it up, see how it is. So uh, guess what I have to do? I have to check my video again to see if the choke's on or off. I think up is off. Is up off? Down is on. Up is off. It seems a little bit better. Um, I probably adjusted the idle too much last time. Let's get that back. Uh, I'll give it a minute to warm up again. Remember there was crap and water in there, so that will be in the carb right now. Hopefully that will power through and clean itself out. And in a minute or two, I'll take this for a spin and it should be okay, should be okay. Uh, if I have the time, maybe tomorrow, I'd like to straighten the wire a bit more. I'd like to pull the wiring away and get the flow a bit straighter but I can see that petrol is flowing or was flowing see there's the problem again oh I'm so done with this bike There's fuel in that filter. Yes, that means there's fuel in the carb. Let's try a bit of choke. Basically, the tank lids are full flush. That means I've got to dump the whole tank of fuel, which is such a shame. So my next thoughts are that I can't get the, um, the system to flow enough because it's too tight and there's wiring there. I'm gonna whack the seat off, whack the side panels off, see if I can loosen that wiring enough to move it slightly out of the way. 
to get better flow with this fuel with the filter in place. So it's this that's in the way. Now I was hoping I could reroute it. I could maybe drop it and run this over. Let me try that. Okay, so guys, I'm kind of down to just, well, I don't know. Um, I think now the tank needs flushing, so I'm going to have to just tip all the fuel out. I'm going to have to keep sloshing it, try and get all of the rust out with it, and so on. And then I'll just have to top it all with fresh fuel. I'm going to drain the fuel from the carb as well, so that it all starts fresh. Basically, there is just no way of having a inline filter there is just not enough room and the angles don't work so the tanks coming off sloshing slushing the craps coming out and I don't know fresh fuel but this is a gonna be a long-term problem it's not there's no kind of unless you can put a fuel filter in there's no other way of fixing this and the fuel filter just does not fit and they're the, they're the smallest filters you get. The only other thing you could do is, is connect some sort of fuel pump, um, which is doable, it's not the end of the world, and then run the system around a bit longer with a fuel filter in it. But that's very kind of complex for a little 125. Um, so this tank clean is going to have to do the majority, get rid of the majority of whatever the crap is inside that tank and water and basically filling up with fresh fuel will we'll just kind of be starting again so that's the next step so i've done what i said guys the tank's completely empty now and i've run the line back there was so much crap in that tank it's all rust and it's rattly and there's still loads in there it's going to be such a temporary fix until you can get an inline filter in there it's there's kind of there's no point really it needs a new tank ultimately it needs a brand new tank which is a shame it's only six years old uh but it will last for a little while as long as she keeps putting fresh unleaded in it will be fine the majority is out now the water is out so there shouldn't be that many issues if i had this bike long term i'd i'd be i'd have to work out a way of getting the inline filter there's just kind of no choice one of the options would be to turn the tap completely around make sure it's always switched on and go around from this way with a little bit more room um, which is which would you know is it stops it being so tight basically but we'll see I'm gonna get fresh fuel just once again I'm just gonna go back to the fuel we took out so it's got water in there, you can see that, that's kind of separated. It's got chunks in there and it's got rust in there, loads and loads of rust. And that's just constantly going to be circulating around the carb. I believe we got the majority of that out. 
So I'm going to get some fresh fuel in a bit, come back, idle the bike, run it, and see how we go from there. I'm just going to throw the seat and the side panels on. It only takes two minutes. Okay, guys. I've kind of done as much as I can do on this one. I flushed the tank, the, the tank, the tank, cleaned it out as much as I could. It was terrible. The rust was rattling in there. Uh, gone back to the straight pipe, drained the fuel out of the carb, drained the tank, like I said. Now I'm just throwing fresh fuel in and it should go back to normal. Is this a long term fix? I don't know. If there's rust in there, it needs treating. Uh, but let's just see for now if it runs and rides and feels okay. If it does, then we're good to go for a little while. If it doesn't, we'll just burn it. Just set it alight twice. Make sure it's fully gone. And then uh, maybe once more for luck. Fires. Ridiculous. So uh, I don't know what's going on anymore. Let me uh drain the fuel one more time. We'll see roughly what's going on in that carb. So watch down here, you'll see the flow. Hang on a minute, where's the ah oh, wrong side? <laughs> there it is. Right, watch this. Uh, so we're watching the flow here. Um, it's this this line here. Let's see what colour we're looking at. Yeah, that was still very uh, yellowy, wasn't it? It was definitely still dirty, that bit. I think every time we start it, we're just going to go through the... Take this bad boy out up and down the roads.
Okay. All right, that ran well. That ran well. Plenty of power. It was fine. Idle's a bit up and down, which is annoying. That could be a throttle cable thing. Could be looseness in the, the cable. And it's very hard to get it kind of spot on in between. We want kind of the lowest it will sit without stalling. I don't want it to be a pain when it's a bit cold as well. Check it starting up. Fine. I'm going to call that a fix for now. If it comes back, I'm going to turn this around so that the pipe comes out this side and that gives me a little bit more room to flow around with an air filter, air filter with a fuel filter in there. And then that will absolutely be the final fix. But for now, done and dusted. Thank God.